Hi, if you're new here, I'm Kathy from the Delfield Quilt Company, and I love to quilt, and I love to share the projects I'm working on and how I made them. This project's going to be a little bit different because it's going to be one of a part of a series that I'm going to do throughout the summer. I think like many of us, once summer comes, we probably sew a little bit less and maybe do some traveling, get outside more with friends and family. And I'm going to be working on some projects throughout the yard and the house. So I'm going to be just slowing down a little bit on my bigger quilt projects. But I'm going to work on this project. And I'm calling it the Summer Stars Quilt. So in a previous video, I showed a little bit more about how I came up with this design using Electric Quilt 8. If you're curious about how that software works, you might want to go check out that video. And I'll put a link to that in the show notes. So the fabric I'm going to use for this quilt is going to be from the Morning Light collection. This is from Moda. It's by Lindsay Cull McRae. And this is, I thought, just a really nice, fun summer print because it's got some really fun aquas, whites, a little bit of like a yellowish gold, and a little bit of light pink. So I thought it would be a really nice, fun, summery print to sew with. And I'm going to need one layer cake for this summer stars quilt. I also need some fabric that's going to be for the background fabric. And that is going to be this white here. I'm using, I'm using, I believe, snow from Moda, but I'll check for sure and then put that in the show notes. I'm also going to be using some Bermuda Bella solids and my all-time favorite yellow, and this is Empire Yellow. And this is from Art Gallery Fabrics. So the first black of this quilt is going to be the main one that pulls all the blacks together. And it's very similar to an Irish chain black, except it's got a star for the center. And then the squares are just a little bit different than you'd find in the traditional Irish chain black. And for this one, I'm just using the solids today. Now all the finished blacks in this project are going to be 12 inches by 12 inches. And for this first one, I'm going to need 17 total for the quilt I'm going to make. And the finished quilt size is going to be 60 inches by 84 inches. So let's get started on this first block. The pieces we need to cut for the square first from the blue are eight two inch squares, one three and a half inch square, and then from the white we need four five inch by three and a half inch rectangles, four five inch by two inch rectangles, four three and a half inch by two inch rectangles, and one sixteen inch by two inch strip. And then from the yellow just one sixteen inch by two inch strip. I'm going to start with the two inch blue square. So I'm just going to get a clean edge and then I'm going to cut a couple at a time. Okay, good. We need eight total of those. And I've already cut my yellow strip. I just want the length out of that course. I just want a length of that. And same with the white. But I'll cut this down after I sew it because we're going to just sew this together and then we're going to cut it in sections. Then I need my three and a half inch square of blue. Get my white rectangles cut. There's my four three and a half inch by two inch rectangles. Then I got my four or five an inch by two inch, and finally I need some five inch by three and a half inch pieces of the white. I need four of these. All right, now that I got all my pieces cut, I'm going to start by sewing this yellow strip to this white strip, and I'm going to do a scant quarter inch just along the seam here. All right, now that I got this sewn together, I'm just going to press the seam and I'm going to press it towards the yellow. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to cut this in sections of two inches. So I'm just going to start with the clean edge. And I need a total of eight of these. I, since I went with the width of the, my fat quarter, I'm going to have a few of these left over, but that is okay because I can use them later. I'm just going to check these just to make sure that they're three and a half inches now by two inches. Okay, now that I've got these all trimmed up, I am going to sew them in sets of two. And I just want to make sure the yellow and white are opposite of each other. 
And when I'm sewing these together, I'm just making sure that I'm lining up my seams. And since we press the seam to one side, they should nest pretty nicely when you put them together. Now that I've got these sewn together, I'm just going to press the seam to one side. All right, I'm going to set these little ones aside. And now I'm going to work on the star points. For that, I need the two inch blue squares. Now, if you wanted to, you could draw a line diagonally down each of them, or you could press them in half diagonally and use the crease as your mark, because we're going to sew right on that center line. You're going to do that to all eight of these little squares. Now you should use a fabric friendly pen. I actually grabbed one that's not. So hopefully this will turn out okay, otherwise I might be remaking this block. Okay, I've got all of my blocks lined, and then I need my four three and a half by five inch squares. And basically I'm going to sew along one side first, on a corner here, from diagonal corner to corner. And I'm going to repeat that on each of these four, and then I'm going to trim it, press it, and then sew on the other one. All right, I've got the first four ones sewn on. I'm just gonna cut these apart quick. And I'm just cutting them about a quarter inch from the sewing line. And I'm just gonna give these a quick press to, the, to one side. Then I'm gonna sew on these other blue squares. And I'm just gonna go to the opposite corner here and do the same thing I did before. Just like I did before, I'm going to trim about a quarter inch from the sewing line. And then I'm going to press these to one side. And there we have what's going to make up the star. So now I need to sew the white pieces to these yellow and white pieces here. So I'm just going to organize them so there's a yellow square that's in the center. And then I'm just going to place these so I know what side to sew them on. And these are my three and a half inch by two inch strips. And then I'm just going to lay these down. These are going to be the five inch by two inch strips. And I think what I'm going to do then is I'm going to sew the five inch strips to the white and the blue ones on both the top and bottom here. And then I'm going to go ahead and sew the white strip to these blocks here. So I got those pieces sewn and pressed, and I just pressed the seam to one side. And now I'm just going to add this blue square to the middle, and I'm going to sew it to these two pieces here. When I pressed these seams, I did press these ones to the center because my upper star points here, there are seams that they're going to line up to. We're pressing the opposite direction. All right, now I'm just going to sew this row together and this row together, and then I'm going to bring this whole star together, and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. And there's the finished block. I actually really like how that turned out, which is a good thing because I need to make 16 more of these. So hopefully you like this video. If you're curious at how the slow summer star quilt is going to turn out, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the weekly updates. Have a great day.